Let's pretend, kids! Today I'm going to show you how to take your potion bottles from this to this. Hey guys, welcome to Let's Pretend Kids. If you watched my Harry Potter party last Monday, then you know that this Monday I'm going to be aging my potion bottles. Now these will be good for parties, but they're also really good for Halloween, which is another one of my favorite things in the whole world. So let's get started. I've been wanting to do this craft for a very long time. My bottles are already really old, although you can't really tell except for maybe this one has some water damage, it looks like. But they have been moved from home to home for years now. So you can kind of expect something's going to happen, but it only helps it. So I'm going to start with some scrapbook paper dye. And they come in these little packets. You can use the whole packet, or for this I'm going to use just a portion. You add it to some hot water. There's different colors that you can do, but I did, I think, harvest. And I'm not even gonna stir it, I'm just gonna kinda let it be. And I'm going to take a brush. Let's see. Where should we start? Let's do this elixir of life. Now for elixir of life, I just used water because that made sense to me. So let's see. I wanna make sure the whole label is brown. I'm gonna give that a minute to set and dry and then I'll probably end up going over it again Again, I'm not worried about ruining the labels because that only adds to the effect. The more worn, weathered it looks, the better. I'm also going to be putting some toppers on after I get the labels done. This one I kind of tore the edges around, which I would have liked to have done to a lot more. In fact, I could have aged the paper before I put them on, which would have been ideal, but I was in such a hurry, I knew I didn't have time to do all that. So I just slapped them on and hoped that this day would come that I would actually be able to come back and redo them. Just to compare, so you can see there's the new label versus the one that I've put the dye on. So it kind of wrinkles it up, browns it out a little bit. You can see I have a distressing kit here that I'm going to be using. It comes with some sandpaper, files, inks, brush. There's this cool roller. Um, this is my favorite. It has a little blade in there. It roughs up edges. Some more powders and brushes, application tools, and some wool. Oh, and there's actually some more aging dye in here. But I gotta let these dry a little bit before I can do this part.
These are dried salamander brains and looks like they're bacos. So again, I just used anything I had around the house at that time. Essence of Insanity. I will put a link below of how you can get a copy of these labels that I made for the party. Basically, you just need to be a subscriber and to let me know on some form of social media and I can email them to you. Or you can get them in my Etsy store at Let's Pretend Kids YT. Okay. So I am less worried about the bottles with the pretty tops and most concerned with trying to cover like the medicine bottles. So I have some of these wax seals. I'm going to take for this golden nectar, I'm gonna take this golden one, this sun, and I think I'm gonna attach it to the top. I also have some yellow ribbon and as you can see it's really pretty right now we probably don't want to keep it that way actually cut off some of the edge and then i'm going to take this tool and i'm going to rough it up You can also fray this using scissors. But then next I'm going to actually take the die that I used and I'm gonna throw the ribbon in there and I'm going to mix it all up to discolor it. Push it down in there. I'm just gonna let that soak until the bottle labels are dry. So the bottles have had a little time to dry and it, the ribbon is done as well. You can see it's a little dingier, especially on the edges. So I'm going to wrap it around the bottle. take some of the twine okay so that's what that looks like and then I'm going to take some of the glue on the wax seal There's that one. Now for the Skelegro, I'm going to do some red wax on the top, but I don't want to show that because I don't want the kids getting any ideas. Next, I'm going to take some sandpaper. I'm going to start roughing up these edges and we're going to come in with some chalk or some ink. I'll go ahead and do some ink on this one. Let's see. I'm going to be showing some different techniques for people who maybe don't have all these craft supplies on hand. And of course, when you want to dye your paper, 
you can always use coffee or tea. I don't drink either one of those things, so this was easier for me. You can see my candle was actually just a white candle with a red coating. So it discolored the wax a little bit more than I wanted it to, but it's okay because it, it works for this project. If I wanted to, I could always go in with some red paint. Of course, I could go get a, a different candle, but for right now, I think this will work. Okay, got that wrapped. I'm going to cut off the ends. Fray these out a little bit. Okay, and so that, I see I've got this overlapping part, so I'm going to actually glue some of that so it doesn't just come off. I'm actually going to come in over the burlap. You can kind of see. And there you go. On the Harry Potter video, <laughs> I accidentally called these, I think, pixie brains, but they're doxy brains. <laughs> and it's the chewed up gum inside, but it looks really cool. And so I'm going to use a remnant of some red velvet that I'm gonna place over the top. And then I'm going to tie it with some of this natural cord. If you don't have this, you can use what, whatever you have. Um, get creative. And there you go. For this next one, I'm gonna show you that you can use just a kid's marker. I'm using brown, but I want you to see that you can use whatever items you have on hand. You don't have to have the special scrapbook supplies or craft supplies. Actually it works pretty good just to scribble on the bottle and bring it in. Oh that's good. Nope. That's done with a kid's marker. And I'm going to show you that instead of using candle wax, you can use a glue gun. Drip it. Now kids, if you're watching this, you need a parent's help. In fact, probably be better off if the parent does this part for you. That's if a kid's attempting this on their own. You never know. Normally I'm bothered by the hot glue strings, but here it works out. Now that this is dry, I'm going to paint it. I'm actually going to try this metallic copper 
paint. We will see. Try to make sure I haven't missed any spots. Not particularly easy in this light. Okay. One thing I know some people do to the bottles is they actually paint the glass themselves. So I'm just going to use, what color is this? This is a camel color and an ivory. I'm just going to kind of mix them together and see what we got. And I've got some water to water it all down. Paint while I'm at it and go over the label a little bit. Always try to make sure you get those corners good. Peel them up if you can. Okay. There's that one. I might do a couple more. I think I actually like the hot glue version of the seal better than the wax version. So I found these beads that I'm going to wrap around the love potion. Now my jump rings ideally is what you should use to close them together. They are upstairs, so I'm going to use a little piece of wire. And my tools are upstairs too, so I'm going to cut it with scissors just because the wire is really thin. I do a lot of beading, or I should say used to before I had kids, which is why I have so many beading supplies. And where did it go? Okay. So I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to lace the wire through. Take the two ends and twist. I have another, this is a ribbon with some beads. This ribbon around the unicorn horns is because it has a long neck. I'm going to cut it to size. And I am going to glue around the edge where I want it. There's that. Very pretty. 
And again, I'm going to be setting these out for Halloween in my apothecary that I've been wanting to set up. Gotta tune back in for our Halloween segments because we go all out. And we are going to do Tim Burton themed Halloween this year. So it should be pretty cool. For the Elixir of Life, I'm going to, I was looking for a charm. I didn't find one that I like, so I'm gonna do just a leaf. And maybe I'll do some green cord. So I'm gonna wrap this around several times. I am think I'm actually gonna wrap it around the bottle as well. And then add the charm. I've done some hot glue here on the top. I'm going to take some little rings you get for Halloween, the little plastic rings. There's a spider and a bat. I'm going to cut the ring part off. I'm going to glue that right on top. And then I'm going to kind of drip down like a web. And then I'm going to give that a second and I'm going to go over it with a little bit of paint. So I'm going to take this draft of Living Death. Living Death, I think vampires, I think bats. And Again, I'm going to cut the ring portion off. Okay. Bring this back over here. Let's see. And kind of build this up around it too. Make it sure it's pushed in there good. For this aging potion, I've started with some hot glue on the top. I'm actually going to take a dictionary page. I did print on the other side, but it didn't work out, so I'm going to reuse it for this process. For this project, I should say. Make it nice and hot. I'm going to crumple the paper. And let's see, I'm not going to need that big of a piece. Woo. Nice and hot, nice and hot. Good, good, good. Okay, and then I'm gonna tear off whatever it is I don't want. Get in these extra spots. I am going to use a little twine for this one just to tie it off. Whoop. I 
I really like it. Good. Okay, I'm gonna see about painting the lid here, a silver, metallic silver. I'm not sure if it will take to it or not, but we will try it. Well, looks good. Yay. For this one, I did some hot glue. I'm gonna cut a piece of black velvet. Whoop. Kinda quickly. There we go. So that's it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I tried to show a bunch of different techniques that you can use, but of course, if you want to just pick one or two things and make your bottles a little bit more uniform looking, then that's great too. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the look. I might end up doing some little tweaking here and there, but in general, I had a really great time, and I'm glad I did it. Can't wait to display these for Halloween. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and tune back in every Sunday for our regular scheduled videos, and of course, Mondays for Mom Mondays. Thank you. Bye.